When I got started, um, it, the video game industry really didn't didn't technically exist, and the reason was is because I lived in Northern Ireland, and Northern Ireland was very remote, so there was no game stores or anything like that for me to go buy the games. So in those days, what you did was you you would take a game machine, um, which would be a little a little computer with 1K of memory, black and white. Um, and you'd sit and type the games in. So magazines were the, the, the way to get at games. You would buy a magazine, there would be a list of program code, and you would type it in and then play it. And so for me, it was a really difficult start. I had no money, so I couldn't have afforded to buy real games anyway. I also couldn't afford the cassette player that you would actually use to take the game once it was typed in and save it onto cassette tape. So I became a wonderful typer because, um, you know, literally every time I would type the game in, if I wanted to play a different game, I'd have to hit the reset button and start typing again. Because we were typing code in, we were starting to notice things in the code. Lives equals three. And you would go, hmm, lives equals ten. You know? <laughs> and you'd start hacking the code. And, um, and after you've typed in a hundred games, you start to see patterns. And so you very quickly start to learn, wow, this game's a bit tough here. Maybe if I was to tweak this, oh, there, that's better now. And you start adjusting other people's code. And so quickly, quickly you learn. So what I did was there was, um, there was a magazine at the time, and, and the magazines quality-wise were really bad, so it was literally photocopied pieces of paper. But um, I sent some of my games to them, and um, they printed them in their magazine. I was 15 years old, and so I was really excited. How cool to be in a magazine at 15. But one day, a check arrived for $600, and, I, and I, I, didn't, I just didn't know what to do with it. I mean, it was like, I had never had so much money ever, and, and I had no bank account to put this check into. So it was so great, you know, I realized that the game industry is actually, I do this for fun, and are you kidding me? I can make money from this? So as you can imagine, from that day forward, I was typing like crazy, and I actually started to make money while still in school.